Now, your Super Doppler 10 forecast from meteorologist Jeremy Wheeler. All right, there's the latest satellite, and so it's moving closer to land now, and this is, this is it. I mean, uh, for the coast of North Carolina, they're really worried about this storm, but it has weakened overnight. So a little bit of good news there. Actually, a lot of good news for Wilmington. For us, you know, the winds are spreading out on this, so we're still going to have effects here. There it is, about 200 miles to the southeast, Wilmington, give or take, the center of the storm. There's the eye clearly present on radar. This is radar. We're looking at the rain now. It's that close to land. And here's some of the outer bands. There's already one band which is reaching towards Hatteras. We're going to get some of these move up in Hampton Roads today in the whole viewing area today, and so we'll get uh, a few showers. There's some spring Wrinkles up here right now, the moisture is increasing so much. So here's the latest information winds of 110 miles an hour, category two hurricane moving northwest at 17 miles an hour. It's moving very fast actually for a tropical system here. And so it forca it's forecast to move towards Wilmington as we get into Friday morning. Now, the good news for them is. This is a Category 1. It's hard to see, but the Category 1, a couple days ago, it looked like it could make landfall as a Category 4. A huge change there in the right direction. But at the same time, there may be some slight adjustments that could be a little bit stronger than that. And, I mean, it's still going to move into this region with a powerful storm surge. Uh, even sometimes when these hurricanes are out to sea, they're, they're these big storms, they still produce a huge storm surge. There's probably going to be even more than a Category 1 normally would have. So just think about that. So that's for the southern coast of North Carolina. And then it moves west and southwest, moves inland and up. So that's the center of the storm. Here is our computer model, Future Track, gives you an idea of the size of it. Uh, there's the, the range for kind of the what we call the rain shield, the continuous rain. That reaches up, this is uh, this evening, 9 p.m., up into parts of North Carolina. But we're going to get plenty of rain bands coming off of it and plenty of rain here. So don't get me wrong. I mean, there's going to be a lot of rain in Hampton Roads. And you can see that rounding the bend here will get occasional showers from time to time with a lot more rain to our south. Flooding rains over parts of North Carolina and some of this all it has to do is move about 20 miles north and we'll have those flooding rains in here as well at least into North Carolina. There's also a stationary front that's going to wrap into this system that could produce some heavy rain here in Hampton Roads in southeast Virginia, but there you see tracking it away from us. Here's the winds. We're tracking that. The winds this afternoon will pick up. We're talking about east northeast, about 10 to 20 miles an hour. Gust will be up to 30 and maybe even some gust up to 40, 45 down towards Yonner Banks. Now, late tonight into tomorrow morning, we could see a few gusts of hurricane force down across the southern Yonner Banks. Here in Hampton Roads, I think we'll get some gusts of 45 miles an hour, mostly near the shore. We can handle that. May create some scattered power outages, but we're not looking at widespread destructive winds out of this for Hampton Roads. The worst of the winds will be across the southern Outer Banks, closer to Hatteras, and maybe even close to the Albemarle Sound. It's going to drive those waters to the west, so that's into 7 p.m. for the winds. Let's track the rain locally for today. There'll be a few showers coming in. These are the rain bands that we're talking about, and they'll produce uh, quite a bit of rain at times. But the rain's going to be more continuous overnight and also tomorrow. We'll see quite a bit of rain. I think there'll be a lot of fill in of these gaps with at least light rain showers. And then uh, it's going to increase there going into Friday evening early. The tide's going to increase too. We're looking at minor tidal flooding for today and uh, later this afternoon. And once we get into Saturday, well, I, uh, let's say late Friday into Saturday, well, we're going to see some moderate, and it may go a little higher than this. It may go up to the top end of moderate, which is five and a half to six and a half feet, by the way. Uh, I think the tide going into late Saturday could become uh, almost a major. So, what do we expect? This is some of the effects that we can expect. The southern outer banks, rain 6 to 10 inches possible, 12 inches for the southern outer banks is possible. Uh, winds 45 to 55, gusts up to 74 miles an hour possible from Hatteras up to Manio. Anywhere along this Albemarle Sound, I got a feeling you could see some hurricane force winds. And we've got four to seven feet for the storm surge. So the storm surge is going to be high down here across the southern outer banks, uh, four to six uh, feet across the western Albemarle Sound. That's an area that we've really been focusing on. I think there's going to be big problems in the western Albemarle Sound. Here's uh, inland northeast North Carolina, five to eight inches possible, winds 25 to 35 miles an hour, gust to 60. Here's Hampton Roads, the south side, uh, three to five inches possible, six inches locally, winds 25 to 35, gust to 45, moderate tidal flooding for Hampton Roads, but they're big. Maybe some higher tidal flooding up there in the James River and going up the York River uh, could be up to those levels. And the winds will be gusting to 40 miles an hour. On the eastern shore, 2 to 4 inches, not as much, gust to 30 miles an hour. Minor tidal flooding for you. All right, so the timing of this today, we get the rain band, some squally weather. Tonight, rain will be increasing, the winds will increase, and the rain and wind will be up on Friday. Moderate tidal flooding 
is possible for Hampton Roads. So the rain and wind will increase through Friday. Saturday, we've got lots of rain, but I think the wind will decrease on Saturday. Uh, start decreasing late Saturday and just a little bit breezy Saturday night into Sunday. Temperatures near 80 the next couple of days. Hey, I guess the silver lining is we get a nice cool down, which we're due. There you <laughs> go. <laughs> so there's the silver <laughs> lining. But uh, yeah, uh, lots of problems. Waves going to be up to about 15 feet, by the way, and there'll be beach mm -hmm. erosion down there, mm. at least across the Outer Banks, if not also in Virginia Beach. It was great to see what you just showed, which is just that exact breakdown of what to expect yeah. for each region. Yeah. I think and that's something people are thirsting oh, for yeah. to try to really understand it. And I wanted to do that yesterday, but we just couldn't. It was too early. But today, yeah. now we're getting the details. We're, we're mm -hmm. confident in the track. You know, the track is pretty set. We're not dealing with the models anymore. You know, it's going towards Wilmington, but we will have effects up here. And I may sure. be able to take down the rain a little bit, but I'm, you know, I'm concerned about that stationary front producing more rain than the models show. So I'm, I may be a little heavier than some others on the rain, mm -hmm. but that's why. Did feel a few sprinkles on the way in. Yeah, I did too already. And, you know, we already have some sprinkles already mm -hmm. at this time. So, you know, through the day, that rain's going to pick up.